This is the quickest way I found for buying Ripple XRP, the cryptocurrency. It takes about 90 minutes total. You need to actually be uh, open up two separate accounts at two separate exchanges in order to do this because you can't buy Ripple just with US dollars right now. You have to use a cryptocurrency to purchase it if you're in the United States at least. Um, what you'll need for this is you're going to need a credit card or a debit card and you need to be able to have immediate online access, access to view the transactions. You need a valid email address and you need a cell phone with texting capabilities. The first thing you'll need to do is to go below and click on the link that says create a Coinbase account. Be sure to use the link below as if you do use the link below, you will automatically get $10 worth of Bitcoin when you open up your account and I believe you have to put $100 in there, $100 worth of currency in there and then you'll get the $10. After you click the link below, you'll be taken to this page. It says create your account. Go ahead and fill all of the information in there. First name, last name, email, choose a password, select your state, and click on I'm not a robot, and then click the certification, and then finally go ahead and click create account below. Coinbase will send you an email to your account, so go ahead and go to that, and then after you've done that, it'll look like this. There'll be an email from Coinbase, and then you just have to go ahead and click verify your email address there in in the email after that it's gonna it's gonna pop open a brand new window and it'll say welcome to coinbase James or whatever your name is and then you need to go ahead and put your country in there and your phone number and then on the bottom go ahead and click that button right there coinbase will send a seven digit number to your cell phone and enter that in online where it asks you what the code is and then click verify. Now that you've created your Coinbase account, you're going to need to fund and purchase what's called Bitcoin Cash. This is very important that this is different from Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash is a, an electronic currency also, digital currency, but it's different from Bitcoin Cash. It's just as safe as Bitcoin, but it takes it for what I found is it just processes much quicker. So if you want to do this in 90 minutes or less, you really want to make sure and do and work only in Bitcoin cash right now. So whenever you see Bitcoin, just make sure it says Bitcoin cash. If your screen doesn't say it, go up to accounts and at the top and click on accounts. And I'm going to show you where your Bitcoin cash wallet is that's basically just wh where are you saving all your bitcoin so your bitcoin cash wallet is located right there and that's what we're going to need to purchase we're going to need to purchase bitcoin cash for buying the ripple okay so i'm going to show you right now every time this is called ethereum if i click on ethereum it says no transactions, but I can buy Ethereum. At the top, it says BTC, which is regular Bitcoin, not the Bitcoin cash we're going to work with, but it says no transactions by BTC. We're not going to do those, but I wanted to show you mine is different because I've already bought some Bitcoin cash. So I click on it and you could see that I already did some, but like on Ethereum, you're going to go ahead and click buy BCH right there underneath the rocket. Yours will look different from mine. Again, mine, when I click on it, does not say that. But you'll have a rocket there, and right underneath it, it'll say buy BCH. So you want to click on that blue button right there. When you click on that button, it's going to say you need to fund your account. So how are you going to fund it? So yours is going to look similar to this, but not exactly. But one says bank account. We don't want to do a bank account on if you want to do this in 90 minutes or less. 
you could do a bank account, but it takes four to five days to process all the information initially to fund your account. And the one we want to do right there says credit debit card. That's the one we want to do. There's a $750 weekly limit. So this will at least get you started into buying your electronic currencies. So this is the one we want to click on. Now this is the this is what should pop up after that. However, I want to digress just a second. In case it asks you for an ID to upload your ID, this is what I found you can do that sometimes works. Go ahead and um if again, if you have this problem, so only if you have the problem, if you didn't see that screen, go to settings. So let's go to settings up there and then go to linked accounts and click on link a new account. So try, you're essentially doing it again and then click on credit card, debit card again and see if that comes up again. Normally, if you do it two or three times, if you just redo it, it will eventually let you go ahead and just put your credit or debit card on. on there so enter your credit and debit card all the information and then click on add new card. okay so coinbase sent me two transactions one was one dollar and 53 cents so they already put the one there for you and one was one dollar and 57 cents and then click verify your card And it says credit card successfully verified. So I have my new credit card right there. Now that we have the funding source, we're going to go ahead and buy the Bitcoin cash. So I'm going to go ahead, go back to my account, click on the buy sell at the top of Coinbase. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and choose Bitcoin Cash to purchase. So I'm going to click on that. Again, not Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Scroll down, choose your payment method. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to buy $110 worth of Bitcoin Cash. I typed in $110 right here it's saying that's how much bitcoin cash i'm going to receive and i'm going to buy it instantly by clicking that button now it says confirm my transaction that's my credit method or payment method and again always be it's be make sure it's bch that's our bitcoin cash that's the um, symbol for it. Confirm my buy. And it says my purchase was successful. Now I know occasionally it might ask you just to confirm. So it might send you a text just to put that code in again to make sure. But on this one, it did not ask me that. So we're good to go. And I'm gonna view my dashboard come up to my accounts scroll down to my Bitcoin cash and you could see right here I bought Bitcoin cash I'm gonna click on it and it says the fee was one dollar um, I believe there was more of a fee too. So it looks like there's about a $4 fee on top of that. And it says it was completed. So I now have Bitcoin Cash, which is in my wallet. Now we're done with Coinbase for the time being. We need to go to what's called BitSane. So there is a link below. Please click on the link below and that will bring you to create a new BitSane account. Again, this one's very easy. Enter the email, password, choose the country, click I'm not a robot again, 
you need to go back into your email again to verify um, that that you sent it to that correct email address and then you need to re-log into BitSane again and it'll ask you to do that it's very easy um, BitSane is much less cumbersome to get into than um, Coinbase this is what it'll look like after you log into BitSane you want to go to the top where it says balances click on balances scroll down and you will see that right now currently you have no Bitcoin cash in your account we want to put some Bitcoin cash into that account so what we're going to do is go ahead and press the deposit key deposit means we're going to deposit some money in there and what's going to happen is the wallet is going to generate a number for you right there and it does it very quickly this is why we use Bitcoin cash versus Bitcoin Bitcoin it takes a long time to generate go ahead and highlight that right click on it and press copy or of course you can just press copy to clipboard now you need to go back to coinbase click on coinbase here's the coinbase account click on accounts scroll down there's my hundred and five dollars again in Bitcoin cash now I want to send that somewhere so I'm going to click send and where I'm sending it is back over to BitSane so I'm going to paste in that address that I had before those crazy sets of numbers and I'm going to send the maximum amount I want to send all my Bitcoin cash so I'm pressing that um, on the bottom I click there and then just said send max and now you could see there's a small network fee three cents associated with it the total that's going to be sent is 104 now again it's always going to stick around there but as Bitcoin cash is traded all the time 24 7 it changes usually in small increments over a few minutes press continue now I'm going to need to put my new verification code in again press confirm and the transactions on the way now I can click the v view details this is the longest part of the process now it says on here that this Bitcoin cash is being transferred and it's pending it's going to take between 40 and 60 minutes normally to send um, and to be confirmed in your BitSane account so again it'll be pending that's the thing that it will happen so if I come over here I'll take a look almost all my Bitcoin is gone and it says under trans again I'm under accounts under transactions it says that it's pending and you can always click on that to see now again that it may say complete but again it will take between 40 and 60 minutes for that to get over to the BitSane exchange and for you to see it so we'll check back in okay it was about 50 minutes I checked and it said that the transaction went through remember it was 0.0412 amount of Bitcoin cash we sent if I come over to Bitcoin exchange and I click on balances and I scroll down there it is it got into my Bitcoin cash wallet on Bitcoin on BitSane because the price might have may have fluctuated in that 50 minutes I'm gonna just double check to see how much Bitcoin cash I have in US dollars so I'm gonna highlight that copy it that's how much I have let's go back to coinbase go to the top on the dashboard it will tell you how much Bitcoin cash is worth 2553 so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my calculator 
and we said it was worth 2553. Let's multiply that by the amount of Bitcoin cash I have times, and I'm going to paste it in there, equals $105. Now we know we have $105 worth of Bitcoin cash to purchase Ripple. Yes, we're finally ready to purchase Ripple. So let's find out how much Ripple we can buy with $105. Let's go back to the BitSane Exchange. Click on exchange at the top. The exchange, we can choose Ripple to US dollars. We'll see what Ripple's currently selling at. So people are bidding $2.90 to buy it, and people are willing to sell it at $2.95. Here we'll tell us what the last trade was $2.89. So that's pretty much the market price right now. Let's go ahead and find out how many Ripple we can buy with 208 at $2.89. So we have $105 worth. Let's divide that by $2.89. So we can purchase approximately 36 Ripple. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Click out of my calculator. Go to the top, and we're going to choose Ripple XRP to Bitcoin Cash. Again, Bitcoin Cash, not Bitcoin. Okay, we'll scroll down, and over here, it is getting extremely important where you click now. This says the order size. Instead of 36, let's just buy 35 to be on the safe side. We'll have a little bit of extra bit cash left over, but we'll buy 35 XRP, which is the symbol for Ripple. Now, the next thing you want to make sure and do is say, change that from limit to market. So we want to purchase it immediately. You can put a limit in there if you know what that is and set a price. We're just going to buy it at the market price right now. Now, another very important thing, we're going to click over here on buy. As soon as you press buy, it goes through immediately. It's not like any of the other stock accounts that you might trade that it asks you to confirm. I mean, this is, boom, going through immediately. So when we press this, this should go ahead and get our Ripple into our account. I'll press buy. The order was placed. I'm going to press close. And now right up here, it'll say it's an active order. Okay, I'm not seeing it say active order, so I bet you it already went through. So let's go ahead, go back up to the top, click on balances, scroll down, and we should scroll to Ripple, and there it is right there. So now we finally did it. We finally bought 35 Ripple. It's a little bit less than that, and probably due to the fluctuation in the prices just very quick but you could see we said we're going to leave a little bit of bitcoin cash in our account as well and there it is so we did it we purchased ripple um please make sure and subscribe to the channel i'm going to probably be doing some more cryptocurrency stuff on here additionally if you could press like and share this with your friends that would be awesome and best of luck to you